Hi everybody, it's Bill Gilliland here with this week's Action Coach Business Profile. I am sitting here with John Truitt from Grove Park Construction. Hi John. Hi Bill, how are you? I'm excellent, and you? Doing great. Perfect. So tell us a little bit about your personal journey and how you sort of got to the point of actually opening up a, a, a construction business. That, that's a long-winded process, but I'll try to make it short for you. I started out in design, interior design, went into architecture, um, went to architectural school, did my graduate degree in architecture, and worked for uh, a couple of custom architectural firms in the Charlotte market, and I ended up doing some construction management. Um, had a great boss down there. He's, I got tired of coming in every day complaining about, I just wish guys would do it this way, and he goes, why don't you do it yourself? So I got, and I started out in construction that way, and and really enjoy it. I, th I like being out there with the guys every day and getting my hands in it. Perfect. So tell us a little bit about who you serve now. You know, where, who are the clients that you would serve now? Well, I guess my clientele is a little bit more uh, specialized and I like to, uh, to serve the higher end client, uh, the more detail oriented client that wants the details, that appreciates the difference in crown molding and finishes and actually understands that. And I guess I work better for more detailed people that like the, uh, the service I have to offer, which is a little different than a traditional builder. So tell us a little bit more about that service. Well, I, I'm just with the architectural background and the interior design background, I, I have more of an eye for the detail. I understand the whole picture. I understand what the engineer's doing. I understand what the architect's doing. I worked for a landscape architect before. I worked for a structural engineer before. And, and I understand the whole process um, I know there's a ton of process builders in the market, but I feel like I understand the detail and we try to go the extra step, extra mile in detail. And I don't do a ton of projects um, because I like to really control the quality. I'm sort of a quality control freak. So tell us a story about uh, somebody that you were able to control the quality for and how that worked out. Well, I, I've had several options. That happens a lot in houses, but sometimes I will get um, look at a client's house and get some uh, millwork they have and I understand what background the millwork's on. I can go to a custom millwork guy like in a remodel situation exactly match that millwork. I know where to go to, the catalogs it was in, the time period, and I understand the historical backing of what they have there. Or in a new house, I can go in and do all kinds of architectural and interior design. I understand where the architect and the interior designer are coming from because I've been there. And I really make, I take the parts and really make them a, a harmonious whole, I guess, where they're together in one piece. How does your process work from start to finish? Well, traditionally, uh, there's a couple of different processes I have. Um, I really like doing architects work, working for architects, because I understand their level of detail that they're putting into the job. And I like to think that I understand, I'm not the builder who wants to change what they're doing. I understand how it all goes together, but I also do, you know, I have some clients that come to me want me to do design build, and I understand the whole the whole process because I've done the interior design, I've done the architecture, I, I've done the engineering, I, I've done all those things, so I understand how to put those pieces together. So I sort of have, I guess, two ways I like to work with clients. Now I know at one point in your career you were actually a pretty serious runner. Yeah, and an yeah. athlete. You can tell so, us not now. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> an athlete now. So just talk a little bit about how you how you what you learned in athletics, how you've been able to apply that into business. Tenacity. Tenacity and desire. I learned a long time ago, if you want it to happen, do what it takes to make it happen. And that's how I do my clients' projects. I, 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 everyone says they provide quality and everyone says they provide service. But I, I have the tenacity to make sure the job is finished and comes through because I can always will myself to... It's one thing you learn in competitive running. You can always make your body and your mind do what you think it's not capable of doing. So you can always go the next step. I can always go the next step, keep going, and always, and I, I, I take my client's trust very seriously. It, it, you know, I'm not, I'm not one, one of these guys who's in the business because it, it, it's the, the money. I love what I do. I love the architecture, I love the design, I love uh, being out there. I get up every day looking forward to go to work and not a lot of people can say that. Perfect, so I know that you have sort of a unique sort of open book process that you take with your 
with your high-end clients. Tell us a little bit about that process. <clears throat> well, one of the things I do uh, different, and I used to be on the architecture end, so I used to see all the bids and I used to see all the, the money and how it changed hands. One of the things I do on the open-ended process um, is, I sh uh, first of all, I shop vendors in several different areas. I just don't shop in one area for materials and subs and, uh, and any kind of amenity I can bring to the job to make it more efficient. But I also, if, if I say I have a painter and he's painting a job and he's $28,000, I show the client the bill. I put my percentage on it. I have open book accounting anytime because the, the worst position you can be in as a homeowner or a client is to be where you don't know what's going on. You don't understand where the money's going. You don't understand what it's going for. So I eliminate that. You don't have that problem. That uh, seems like an amazing service to me. Yeah, and I guess I see it more because I was in the architecture end and um, used to see it, you would see some numbers come in. You're like, wow, I don't know how that happened that way, but I don't want to ever be in that position with my clients. So what else would you like to tell the folks out here in Western North Carolina? Well, I'd like to have an opportunity to talk to you. One thing I can tell people is I, I'm straight up. I'm open book. I will show you everything that's going on. I think I offer a service that is quality oriented and we produce a product that is second to none as far as quality and amenities, service, and especially finished product. Great. So how should someone get, in, get a hold of you? How can they get a hold of John Truitt at, at Grove Park Construction? Um, you can get a hold of me. We have a website. Uh, my, my cell phone is 828-243-0701. That's my cell phone. That's not my office number. It comes to me. Everything runs through me. I'm very conscious of doing that. Uh, you can go to my w website at www.gpfhomes.com, H-O-M-E-S.com, or uh, Google me on several places. I'm Google and I've been in some publications too. So. Yeah, so tell us about that. Have you, have you, some of your houses have won awards and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah I've worked with some architects in the area that we, we've been in some, uh, uh, Carolina Homes, I've been in a Coastal Living, I've been in a couple of different magazines, uh, Small Cottage Homes Magazine, done several things. And, and when I was on the architecture land, I was in some publications also when I was in the Charlotte market. All right, so tell the folks one more time, how do we, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, just call my mobile phone, 828-243-0701. Thanks, John.